Alright, welcome back guys to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We had our second rune uh, done last video, and then I had to end the video, I think, early. I don't remember why, but I did. Uh, but now we're going to go onto vaults, and hopefully things go okay for us. Now, I said that I would put the Ring of Protection from Magic on, and then I'd put the Fire Dragon Scales on. I don't know if this is actually the best scenario for me, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've used fire dragon armor and there's a couple of reasons why. First of all, I don't like the fact that it has RC minus. I find that the benefit of R F double plus is rarely that good, honestly, because usually you can just find some other form of RF and you'll make do with that. But uh I'm not really a fan of how the stats are lined up. I prefer to have either heavy armor or just give me spell costing ability, you know what I mean? Uh but having said that, Fire Dragon Armor is has been a tried and true classic. I believe that it rose significantly in pop uh, popularity after the Glow's, what, 18 win streak in the 0.11 or so tournament. Um, there, was a, there was a tavern thread, I believe, that uh, discussed it at length um, and pretty much just advocated the use of Fire Dragon Armor, so it got really popular around then. But I think that over time that kind of message faded away and plate, plate mail of fire resistance, plate armor um, of fire resistance became you know, back into the norm, people started realizing that, you know, well, Fire Dragon Arm is okay, but hybridism really isn't all that it's cracked up to be, given that we kind of nerfed the ever-loving shit out of it multiple times by removing and nerfing various spells in the arsenal of charms. Um, I once asked uh, Gamma what, why, why charms hasn't been removed, since every single charm in the game is a single, is a dual spell charm. He just said, oh, because we like scouts. That's it. That's the only reason. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Hybridism isn't all that it's cracked up to be, and I think that 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 kind of doesn't apply here because I'm just using this armor for the for the stats mostly, which is weird. Usually, you don't really have a guy that wants this for the stats. Fire Dragon is not the most amazing thing for stats, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we're getting just mad flayed right now, but it's not a huge deal because. Um, Flay can't actually kill me, and there's nothing here that's about to kill me anyway, so I'm okay. I'm really hoping that I can get a brand weapon scroll. Um, this quick blade of piercing is okay, but it's not it's not the best for fighting stuff. All right, there's Saint Roca. Whoa, hello! I just decided to show up. We'll let Demise take out some guys from max range. Kind of working like a single summon. I don't know why Demise just doesn't follow me anymore. I'll tell him to follow with TF. There's a whole lot of um, context commands with summoning that are a little bit hard to get used to. Uh, I probably should talk about them. So TA, so when you open up T, you have allies. So A will direct all your summons to a target. R will tell them to retreat to a certain place. S will tell them to stop attack. I've literally never used that. G, I've never used that. Guard the area. And F is follow me. So I mostly use TW. Um, it basically tells your guy to just walk around and just kill stuff, which is really useful for you. Uh, oh my god. Alright, we killed those buggers pretty fast actually, never mind. Uh, normally you just use TF, TW, and uh, TA. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. Let's uh, transfer our Demise Boy over there. And what we'll do is we'll just idealize him so he becomes strong and he just wreaks havoc inside that room uh, without me having to really do much. So I, I'm, sh I'm kind of like learning a little bit about... Um, come on, can you come back to me please? I'm learning a little bit about how to use hep stuff. So transference is actually very good in terms of utility. You don't really think about it much, but uh, being able to swap your ally into the middle of a fight is really useful. Usually not, I'm, I think it might just be because this guy is the, the knight version of the ancestor. Because usually you don't want a battle mage to go away from your person. You want to be tanking for your battle mage. Hexer is kind of the same thing. He's a bit squishy, so you want to hold him, uh, make it so that he's like kind of just an auxiliary of you. But the knight is very independent comparatively. He just kind of wants to be in the middle of stuff, so uh, transference is really strong. I like it. Uh, does it confuse or does it drain? I think it drains, yeah. I mean, I don't really care for the drain that much. It's not very effective, but... You know, it's still pretty good. 
you can get the mines into like the middle of fights and it's just really helpful. Uh, well, we'll just let him handle stuff, I guess. We'll get some decks, because why not? There's really nothing we need at this point for stats. I think strength could like... I don't think strength coming towards us is really going to help. Uh, going up is really going to help our ability to use this fire dragon armor. I think fire dragon only needs like 11 strength or something like that. Or somewhere around that area. So having, you know, a ton doesn't really help us that much. Uh, just let... Okay. We got marked. This is a lot less good now. Uh, we will transfer the transfer demise over, and then we'll let it just basically wail on stuff while we're running away. Because it's hasted, we can let uh, we can kind of use it in the same way that the mummy summoner was being uh, was using the oh god we need to run. We can use it in the same way that the mummy summoner was using mana pipers. You kind of just walk away, and as you're walking away, the hasted guy just kind of picks at the enemy from full screen. It's a pretty safe way of dealing with stuff. Let's idealize here. Uh, Saint Roca isn't too threatening. Wow. But the fact that he can... The fact that the knight can actually 1v1, well, mostly 1v1 Saint Roca is pretty strong. I would say that Saint Roca is a very powerful orc unique, like a uh, 1v1 unique, so, you know, it's it's considerable. Uh, Ringmail, I could consider seeing using Ringmail, it was good. This one's not that good, so I'm not going to worry about it. Man. So Demise is like basically perma hasted. He he's kinda like the the old old school scowl where you have um haste online just permanently. I mean back then haste was like the the best reason to go scowl or hybrid at all. Or and then after that was removed, you kinda reduced hybridism to like what? Repel missiles and blink. Now they removed repel missiles, so it's just like uh but this guy, he makes me, he reminds me a lot of uh, one of those old, old school half melee, half magic guys. Just perma hasting constantly, abusing the crap out of it, never dying. What a good time. Uh, Ring of Loudness, and I accidentally read this. Well, I didn't accidentally read the scroll summon, I just read it. But, sucks that we wasted it, but it doesn't matter that much, I guess. I might have to end this video pretty early today as well, about 30 minutes in. Mostly because I have. Uh, work in a little while. Alright, so we want to transfer this guy towards us, I think, so we can kill him quick. Probably wasn't a good idea, actually. I don't know what the ideal transference rate is. Oh my god. But as you can see, I can recall um, the knight right next to me, and it just does a lot of stuff. I don't know. This is this is pretty good, actually. I think that at this point, the knight's identity is really distinct from the other two uh, versions of the ancestor. I feel like the he feels really independent. Uh, like I've already said that, I guess, but he really feels like he's an actual asset to your team, rather than just a nice bonus. He's an actual core uh, of your strategy, I guess, of your positioning. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's just me, but the battle mage always feels like it's just a mystic, uh, the skinner in the battle sphere, and the hexer just feels like it's a mono worm with like extra damage. This guy actually feels like he can do stuff but without me. You'll see, you see me like just kind of walking away from him and letting him deal with a bunch of enemies, and he just does it. It's really good. I have some newfound respect for the, uh, for the for the knight, I suppose. Arm skills at level twelve. We got twenty five, twenty nine. So in terms of total stats, that's what fifty four. It's not too bad. Oh my god! All right, this is a little bit awkward. We're getting just completely summoned out. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Oh, Demise departed from the plane of existence. Oh, rip. I assure you guys that I exist, but it's gonna be hard to show you why. Um, alright. Okay, I'm trying to just get in a position where Demise is swinging at more stuff than I'm being swung. Uh, more stuff than they're swinging at me, I guess. Because he actually does a shitload of damage. He he does more damage than me probably, honestly. Ooh, boots are pretty good. The shield of gong is pretty bad normally, but it's extra bad because we need to put like twenty one points of magic uh, shields into it. Plus two boots of running though, that's really nice. This plate mail might be interesting. We have a lot of strength, we could probably afford to use it. 
Um, if it's something really good, we can just ditch this fire dragon armor. I mean, yes, you could say, oh, but Demise, the fire dragon gives you RF++. plus plus. That doesn't really matter that much. If we can find other forms of RF... Okay, the shield definitely changed. I remember it being the, like, squiggly one before. Now it's the plain blue one. So it must change when he dies or something, I guess. It's pretty interesting. Kinda, it's kind of cool how the uh, the shields have different. Whoa, what was that? Let's just TP again. What? What? I need heal wounds. I need double heal wounds. Jesus Christ! What? I, I went from like fine to almost to three HP in less than a second. What? All right. What was hitting me? It was the Deep Elf Death Mage Bolt of Energy and Iron Heart Preserver for 48 damage. Wow, that was a lot of damage. I was not expecting that much. I probably should have been, honestly. But I'm just kind of... I'm kind of out of it right now. Being <clears throat> pretty sick recently, um, for some reason. Uh, fashion of Distortion. Get him... Demise. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love doing that. It's just like kind of sick him on him on one enemy and it just 1v1s it really well. Demise remembers more of its old skill. What? What did it get? Oh god, what's going on? Um, what, what did he get? He got nothing. I'm level 22, yeah. What? What did he get? I'm confused. I guess he just got stronger in terms of like regular hit dice and stuff. Alright, fine. Alright, I think because of the boots of running, Demise is like falling behind me. That's kind of sad. Alright, let's just stand here in classic 2v2 form, I guess. I really don't like the fact that that demonologist is there. He's kind of just messing with me. Let's just run upstairs. Pull up again. Oh god damn it. There's a locker broker up there. I don't want to deal with him. The cool thing about summons is you can just... Oh, fuck, shit. What? Wait, how come half the stuff just despawned down there? That was weird. Yeah, the good thing about summoners is that you can just kind of go upstairs and rest out until their summon times out, and you can just come back down. And it's like they didn't summon at all. It's so strong. I mean, look at that, guys. Like, he he took on, like, what, five yak tours by himself while I was killing the Vault Warden? Or the... What's his name? Yeah, Vault Warden. I was surprised I was surprised that I was right. I'll just idealize here and let him handle a couple of things. Look at that, he does so much damage. I like it. I think this is like the a good compliment for this character. Ooh, a shiny buckler. Oh, that's so good. Holy shit. Uh a, a buckler of uh, resistance. My god, that gives me RF plus and RC. Oh man, that makes this character like so cool. Just because I don't have to worry about having any, um, I don't have to worry about resistances in my rings anymore, really. Other than that, like, RC ring that I really like anyway. But it's just, it's just so helpful to have more resists. It means that against fire and ice damage, I take, what, like 20% less damage regardless of how many other pips I have. It's good. And on the cold resistance, I take 50% less cold resist, uh, cold damage. It's pretty damn amazing, honestly. I guess there's no real reason though for me to check for other bucklers. I guess this is going to be the best one I'm going to get. There's no real chance of it being... Like, even Reflection's not as good. Even though I, I rate Reflection pretty highly on shields. Because they give you shield, and they also... Sorry, shields inherently give you shield, right? But... And Reflection requires you... This is happening again. Okay, there must be something we're doing wrong. Let's just use one of the scrolls I'm blinking and just leave. How that? Also, we found an acquirement scroll. I'm really excited. Our armor is freaking amazing right now. There is no need for us to worry about armor. I think we want to go for a weapon instead. Evocables, no. Jewelry, no. We have pretty good jewelry. Gold, no. It's got to be weapon, right? Oh, God. Motherfucker. Alright, fine. Um... Nothing in the shopping list is actually that good anymore. The scarf is not really that good. We have propel missiles. 
Helmet, we already have a helmet. That's pretty good. So I guess we don't really need it. Maybe they buffed the death page. Could be that, honestly. Because they've just been doing a lot of damage recently. I have 142 hit points though. So it kind of does make sense. I really want my brand weapon scroll. If only I could get one. I would just, you know, get a sick weapon of electrocution and I'd just be so happy. I would never have to worry about damage again. Ivory Ring, Potion of Might, uh, Magic Mapping is pretty good. I'll pick these up for now. I have plenty of ID for now as well. Oh god, okay sure, Ring of Intelligence. It's kind of a potluck what I'm going to get there. I could have gotten something really good like, you know, armor. Oh fuck, I got paralyzed. Whoa, we need to run. I'm marked and paralyzed, I might as well just stand over here. Look at Demise, look at him, he's just cutting him up. He's just chopping him up. Alright, we probably should run here though. There's no Vault Warden down there, so I'm kind of okay stair pulling. Uh, especially with a hasted demise next to me. Hasted knight next to me. Just, I'm not that worried. Look at that. Oh, that's a titsimal. Titsimal. It's actually a stair pull again. The thing about a demonologist is that they can't actually kill you exactly in one turn, but they can be very threatening over a period of turns. So, oh, see, like, if they get a tits middle, you can get tormented twice and then you'll be in dire straits, but they can't kill you on the exact turn that you see them. Unlike, say, an ancient lich or something, they can hit you for upwards of 100 damage with crystal spear or something crazy like that, or iron shot, they can hit you for like 80 something damage. Um, yeah, the demonologists, they are scary, but they're not horrible if you just kind of step all and do a bunch of other stuff to make it so that they don't stay on the screen for that long. Alright. Man, like, the damage is pretty damn good, honestly. And 18, at 18 stealth, we, we have pretty good stealth. We can kind of get away with a lot of stuff. I think I'll turn it off though. I don't think it's that necessary at this point. But the question is, what do we want to train? I guess evocations. We don't really have anything we need to evoke with. I guess shields. We'll just chuck a bit more shields. It's fine. Ah, uh, do we even need it though? I don't know. It seems kind of worthless. What about blink? Are there any... No, there's no blink in the game. If there was blink, I might even have considered training for it, but... Nah. Guiding spirit? No. Nah, I don't know. What do we want to train? I guess we can train evocations, but there's not really that many evocables we have right now. Evocable. No? Really? Wand? What, what is it called? <laughs> Hello? What, what is this called? I don't get it. Uh, okay, what, what's the file of floods called? Miscellaneous. Alright, how about we do that? Miscellaneous. Sack spiders, lightning rod, and that's it. Ah, okay. I was hoping that we got like maybe a lamp of fire or something. I would bother training Evo for that, just because it's good. Oh, also we have needles on auto pickup for some reason. Can I turn that off? Uh, yes, I can see. If you're wondering how I got to that menu, it's the forwards. No, it's the backslash button. Um, it's kind of one of those, uh, one of those, uh, instructions, commands, that's right, that you can kind of get away, you can win your whole first, like, three or four games before you realize that that's an actual command. Look at that, that's beautiful, right there. Get some free stabs in and just kind of walk off, it's all good. This character is definitely one of the, uh, rogue subclasses, if anything. Has a lot of oh my god! All right, uh, recall our ancestor and then idealize him, and then just kind of get in the corner and then wait. As you can see, the idealize is working pretty well for us. Man, he just shreds stuff. He's definitely the strongest in terms of pure damage output, and sorry, not pure damage output, like 
uh, what am I trying to say here? Combat proficiency, I suppose. Not really damage output. I think that I'm pretty sure the battle mage goes a little higher than that because he has bolted magma and stuff. But yeah, in terms of like just being a badass, this guy definitely wins. Ah, do I really need these all these ridiculous wands on me? Probably not at this point. I guess we'll just drop them. We don't really need them anyway. Stab, stab. Didn't get a stab, it's fine. I like it, man. I don't know, I think I don't think that this character Oh, that's a vault warden with a distortion weapon. We'll walk away from that for a sec. Ideally we just split the pack here. Alright, well ideal situations are just that ideal. So we can't really afford to bemoan it if it's not. I just want to avoid being in melee with him, just because it's a pain in the ass to be Abyss at this point. Having said that, I think the Abyss might be the best choice for this character, so maybe not. Maybe she's just not worried about it. Oh god, what's going on here? Bloody haste might trolls. They hurt so much. See? Nice two nice two free stabs from the 18 stealth we have. Just so nice. You know what? I actually kind of like it. I'm going to train some more stealth. It's it's basically free EXP at this point. He's got a lot of EXP. Uh, Marjorie, unfortunately, does fire damage. For her, I mean. We are ultimately... We are semi-invulnerable to fire at this point with RF triple plus. So I'm not too scared about her. Alright, the Flayed Ghost is a little scary. Let's just teleport out. Okay, that was a horrible teleport. No, not a lot of these things can see invis. I want to go invisible and then teleport again. There we go. Um, yeah, that was a pretty bad teleport. We basically just teleported into the last remaining pack of enemies in the entire floor. So it was just a little bit, a touch unlucky, but that's fine. Just let Demise kill a couple of things by himself and then we'll go forward. That demon blade that this guy's holding onto is really tempting. I might actually go for it. It's a one-handed weapon. Yeah, the Demon Blade on a Cobalt is quite nice, actually. Slicing is also good because it's going to be effective against all types. Even if the damage is slightly lower, it's fine. We're only using it for the uh, full brawl, I guess. Let's pick up some of these potions. Why not? More I more invisibility and stuff. Pretty good. I think at this point, Berserk Rage is a little bit outclassed. Um, hmm. I guess we can turn Dodging off. It's really not that great at this point. We're probably getting mad diminishing marginal returns from it. So we'll just train long blades up. Um, plus four demon blade of slicing. I'll take it, dude. That's a good weapon. Um, and it'll help me take care of really heavy enemies. Like, you know, orbs of fire and such. I know that I, I, I do an analyze a lot of the game in terms of how well can it deal with an orb of fire, but that's really the end point of a three-ring game anyway. You have to have stuff that's dealt with. You can't just like not deal with it. You have to fight an orb of fire sometime, you know what I mean? So I do I do, do a lot of analysis of my weapons on how well does it take care of an orb of fire? How well does it take care of X, an ancient lich, or a cursed toe, or something like that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fire resistance is just so core to the game, both from enemy sides and from the player's side. You just have to deal with it. You have to address it every single game. Oh, it's only been 23 minutes. I I should go, but I'll finish this floor, actually. Oh, another... Oh, man, another requirement scroll. Uh, can we just idealize this guy and then just stand here and laugh as he kills every single thing in that entire box? Alright, well, he didn't kill everything, but he, he got pretty close. Damn, he killed like five Shadow Dragons or something like that. Something crazy. That was really good. Ow, we're heavy drained now. Unfortunately, with no RN, lol, uh, our Shadow Dragon resistance is very low, so we're expecting to get like red drained every single time we fight. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's an Ancient Lich. Fuck. Oh, no. Um, okay, so if he can haste, what can he do? Oh, we can only orbit destruction or... Oh, we can paralyze. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, um...
Hmm. I think the best choice is to blink here. Recall like this. And then pull away. There we go. That's pretty good. I just need to minimize my contact with that ancient lich because 21% fail on the paralysis is a bit scary of a stat. And, it's, and that uh, battle axe guy was already doing pretty good damage. It's like, uh, god. I'm gonna open up this little corridor here so I can fight this stupid shadow dragon. Ooh, the book of necromancy. Spooky. <sighs> Animate skeleton. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Well, we haven't got any of like the core spells for low-level magic, so it's not even worth considering anymore. That's kind of like the bad thing about having hybrid stuff. You can't really guarantee that you get the stuff you want. Oh, look at that free stab, free stab, free stab. <laughs> not a free stab. But that's fine. Free stab. Damn, dude. We don't even have like max stealth either. We just get free stabs all over the place. I love it. Alright, just let Demise handle a couple of things. Get some more decks, I guess. One small thing about decks is that it also gives you bonuses to stealth, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was looking at the formulas for stealth at some point, and I, uh, I noticed that, like, dex actually plays a role in it. Where's Demise going? God. I wish Recall made it so that they, um, knew to, they like reverted back to follow me mode because it's kind of getting annoying how he just like walks off and doesn't do anything. I know he's not going to fight stuff off screen anyway, so it's like there's no real point in him walking off without me. Yeah, look, yeah, there's definitely a different tile, um, different shield tile. Hmm, cool. Are we level 24 yet? Yes, we are. Holy shit, he has an axe of speed. Oh man. So his damage is even better now than before. And he's hasted, so he does just insane amounts. Broad Axe of Speed is Augur. He's effectively holding Augur um, while hasted. So he's doing a shitload of damage. He's honestly probably striking as quickly as a quick blade at this, at this stage. Um, Alright, this is a fairly unfortunate way to go here. We're getting confused by the gold knife. Fuck. Oh, this is triggering my PTSD. Uh, Alright, we made it. At least Demise can't get... <gasps> it's a brand weapon scroll. You know what the best part is? If I don't like it, I don't care. Because, um, like... Oh, actually, we can acquire a weapon first. Lol, flame. Lol, okay. The thing is, if I brand weapon this quick blade of piercing, it doesn't matter, because I can go back to the demon blade of slicing. Uh, poison quick blade. Exactly, like, it's fine. Having a poison quick blade is good. Um, not at this stage in the game, but it's still fine. And I can always switch over to this uh, demon blade of piercing or stabbing or slashing or whatever the hell it is. The Vorpal version. So I do have... Uh, I did downgrade my damage right now, but it doesn't matter as much. So it's a good thing overall. It's fine. Oh, another brand weapon. Please, electrocution. Please. Motherfucker, it's worse. Okay, never mind. I take it back what I said. Oh, it's just garbage now. God damn it. God damn it. Like, really? Poison and then protection brand weapon scroll? You fucking piece of shit. God damn it. I mean, it's cool that I have 33 AC now, but this quick blade does nothing comparatively to what it was doing before. Oh shit, I'm not resistant to electricity. Was there a treasure trove? Yeah, it was. Five blink scrolls. Oh no, our guy died. Ah, uh, where? We're 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 resistant to electricity, right? Because we drank the resist potion. Oh, we only lost sixty-five health. It's pretty good. And we picked up another resistance potion. It's because of the protection it gives us extra AC. Lol. Let's idealize here. Look at that. Oh man. Okay, I'm. I'm being converted. I'm gonna go fucking melee every time now. This shit is so much fun. Like having the, the hexa can't duel shit. Like that's. That's the problem with the Hexer. He's really strong against like Orbs of Fire and stuff if you're fighting with him, but he, by himself he's just garbage. This guy on the other hand, oh man, he just, he shreds stuff so well. Right, we have no ID left, well, that's fine. It's fine, who cares. 
Oh, it's already depth three. What the hell? This character's like just progressing at an insane rate. Wait, what time is it? Oh god. I still have some time. Alright. I'll clear this floor. Just one more floor, guys. Just one more floor. And then I'll then I'll end it. For sure. For realsies. Alright, I need to make sure that he follows me. I'm kinda getting sick of him not following me. Punch, 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 punch. Deep troll. Oh my god, a food shop. I haven't I don't remember the last time I ate a ration on this character. Having Perma Gourmand is quite nice. Oh, there's a Caustic Shrike zombie. I thought that was a crow zombie. I think they removed ravens from this game, so. I don't know why I thought it was a raven. Probably because of the tile. But I managed to stab the Caustic Shrike zombie anyways, too, because. Uh, Book of Battle is actually a pretty interesting pickup. I just have no gold. <laughs> and spatial translocations, but that's 1400, so it's really not going to help me out. That sucks. But if I do manage to pick up Blink and get a castable, uh, when I go to Zot, just before I go to Zot, I can actually just give my Blink scrolls up for the treasure trove, because what that'll do is it'll give me... I basically will have infinity scrolls of blinking, because blink scrolls are uncontrolled in Zot. And I also get to get a treasure trove. Hmm. Good strat, maybe? Question mark? I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I don't know. You're not going to answer that, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, I'll, I'll pretend. I'll pretend for a moment that I have some kind of community engagement. Don't answer that question. It depresses me. I don't want people telling me to go to a treasure trove. God. Treasure troves are like just so sad. It just, you just wish they were more accessible, but they're not. They're never accessible. They always require like an insane sacrifice or something like that. The best ones to get are the ones that only ask for a rune, because you can always get the third rune. They're just super straightforward. This is a, a really annoying vault. I'm actually, I have half a mind to just not worry about it. Having said that, Demise just took out like four enemies by himself, so. You know, if he's doing his job, I should do mine. I shouldn't bemoan my task. Go. Man, I'm actually fighting these guys pretty well. Even though I have a protection quick play. <laughs> God damn it. Didn't I, didn't I say, like, at the beginning of the video, if I get protection, I'm just, you know I got screwed? Because it's true. Uh... Okay, I'm dying to this guy. Motherfucker, why does he do so much damage? And then Demise just goes and kills one hit. God damn it. Alright, fine. But yeah, Vampire Knights, man. They're the swingiest people around. Now that sounds really inappropriate. No, they're the swingiest enemy in the game, really. Sometimes they're just garbage, sometimes they just do so much damage to you that you have to heal or run away. And then you realize they're hasted and you just cry. Because they have they have lifesteal, or they have vampiricism, so they can just vamp you to death. Uh oh. That's a uh, titan and stuff. No, these corners suck for us, man. Idealize, kill the lich. My god, look how quick he killed everything. That's so, oh man, that's just so broken. It's not broken, it's just fun. Hey, where'd Demise go? Oh, there he is. He must have died. Lol. Alright, I have to end the video. Oh, Book of Necromancy, never mind, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Just make that macro real quick. Uh, no one saw that. Um, let's just actually pick up Animate Skeleton because that's really cheap. We can just afford to do that, right? Let's turn all this shit off. Uh, yeah, we'll train like this. And so what, what this will do is it will just get us access to some extra allies. Wait, what? Quiver C. No. What? Macro? Q. C. Z, redefine, Z, shift Q. There we go. I was like, what the hell am I doing? Alright. I just switched to my uh, automatic mode when it comes to animate skeletoning. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, it's been... This character is actually coming along really nicely. I like I like the new... Or I like the old version of Warrior Ghost. It's pretty, pretty fun, pretty effective. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all tomorrow.